Welcome to Tang Rain. Forward-looking retailers today expect technology and sophisticated retail applications to compete in the market and improve their wafer thin margins. Tang Rain is a powerful, easy to use point of sale solution to manage your stores efficiently and empower you to grow your business faster. Whether a boutique setup or a multi-store environment, Tang Rain allows you to effectively manage your customers, inventories and sales. Comprehensive dashboards and reporting allows you to keep track of your business, facilitating faster decisions. Rich functionality, carefully thought features, and an intuitive interface make management of inventory and customers across all stores extremely easy. Tagrain is available on three different platforms: the web browser, Android tablets, and iPad. Tagrain also comes with a unique and an industry-first concept of plugins, which are pocket-sized functional features and can be added as your business grows. You only pay for what your business needs. Let's start with the web register. You open the web register by specifying the opening amount. The web register broadly has three sections: the product section, the transaction grid, and the quick access buttons. You can select the products to sell either by selecting them from the buttons or by scanning them on the product search bar. You can select the customer to whom you want to sell from the customer search bar. Clicking the pencil icon allows you to change the quantity of the product or the discount that you want to offer on this product. Similarly, clicking on the discount button allows you to specify the discount for the entire transaction. Clicking the new customer button allows you to create a new customer. And surcharges like packing charges or shipping charges can be attached to the transaction by clicking the surcharge button. Stock and price is a handy button that allows the cashier to check the stock availability and the price of an item without scanning it to the transaction grid. Similarly, gift card button allows the cashier to check the date and balance of a specific gift card. Clicking cancel voids the complete transaction, whereas a transaction can be suspended by clicking the suspend button. A suspended transaction can be recalled later from the recent sales section. Other functions like cash in allow you to add additional cash to a cash drawer, whereas cash out allows you to take out cash from the cash drawer when it is getting full. Expenses allow you to capture any expense related payments for which you may have taken out some cash from the cash drawer. All these transactions are appropriately recorded in the X table. Clicking recent sales shows you all the recent transactions that you have done on the point of sale. From the actions link, you can either reprint the transaction or load the transaction for a refund. You can also select the order for home delivery or customer pickup. Clicking the close register gives you the option to reconcile the payment types. And this Z tape report can be printed now or later from the report section. Customers can also be created from the customer master screen. If you are upgrading to Tangrain from a different application, you can also use the Excel-based tool to upload your customer master data. And for both customers and vendors, defining the customer group or the vendor group is mandatory. Let's now have a quick look at the inventory section. Creating products in Tagrain is extremely simple. You can either create them one at a time or use the comprehensive upload template to create the products. Just keep in mind that while creating products, it is mandatory to have a product group attached to the product. The different types of products that can be created in Tagrain are standard products, variant products, the ones that have attributes like color and size composite products which can be considered as kits and are created by combining individual products serial and batch products and hospitality products like modifiers menu items and combo meals for all the product types two sections called accordions are very important 
Costing and pricing is the section where you should specify the standard cost of the product. You can either specify the margin percentage or the retail price at which you would like to sell the product. This retail price of the product will get defaulted for all the stores. In the inventory section, you can update the retail price of the product for a particular store. You can also specify the reorder levels and maximum inventory levels of the product. These levels are useful in replenishment planning by running the inventory report. While the product groups allow you to properly group your products, it is the product tag functionality that allows you to categorize or tag a product into multiple categories at the same time. For example, a polo t-shirt can be tagged as menswear, spring summer collection, slim fit, solids, etc. This ability to tag a product not only allows for effective product management, but also allows you to tag products on which you would like to run a promotion. While menus are used for hospitality products, manufacturers and surcharges are simple and obvious masters. Surcharges can either be a percentage based or an absolute dollar amount. All your back office inventory functions are performed in the inventory transaction section. You can complete order fulfillments, carry out good receipts, good issues, raise purchase orders, carry out stock transfers across stores, and manage serial and batch control products. Fulfillments can either be done from the web register or from the fulfillment screen. Clicking on the action button will open the delivery screen where you can enter the shipment details and mark the order as delivered. Good receipts and good issues are as the name specify, transactions where you can receive goods or issue them out. From the purchase order list view, you can edit a purchase order, you can view it and print it. Clicking this cart icon allows you to receive goods against this particular purchase order. In a multi-store environment, stock transfer shipment is used to transfer products from one store to another. Stock transfer receipts, as the name suggests, is to receive products which have been shipped via the stock transfer shipment. Manage Serial and Batch screen is one central place from where you can manage serial and batch control products. This screen is mainly used to manage dates of batch control products. Moving on to gift cards. You can define gift cards and under the gift card management, check the list of all the gift cards that have been issued. You can also check the current balance of the gift card, its transaction history, when was it sold, redeemed or recharged. Reporting in Tagrain is split across two broad sections, dashboards and reports. Dashboards are a visual representation of your data and reports on the other hand are more detailed and give a granular view. Let's talk about the dashboards first. There are 10 different widgets that display the most important performance indicators. These performance indicators display different ratios like sales to tax, sales to discount, credit extended, average transaction size, gift card sold, etc. Let's now have a look at the different reports in the application. Transaction report. As the name specifies, the transaction report gives a complete listing of all the transactions in a store. You can generate the report for all the stores or for a particular store and for a given date range. You can also have the option to include suspended transactions in the report. When viewed on the screen, you can see the details of the transaction like the products that have been sold, their quantities, etc. But more importantly, the gross profit and the margin percentage for every product in the transaction. You can also see the different payment types that are used in the transaction. This report, like any other report, can also be exported into an Excel workbook. The exported workbook has three sheets that detail the same information, but in a familiar Excel format for further analysis. Sales report. The most important report for any business, the sales report in Tagline generates sales-related information by store, by product, by product group, by customer, 
by customer group or by a cashier. When executed by store, the report gives the sales overview like sales including tax, excluding tax, refunds, discounts, units sold, gross profit, margin percentage, and net tax. By running the report by product, you can get to analyze sales by product across all the stores. In addition to the net sales, you can also get to see the units sold, gross profit, and margin percentage of the product. All these sub-reports can be individually exported to an Excel workbook for further analysis. There are three inventory-related reports. Inventory report, inventory status report, and inventory movement report. Inventory report. The report gives a detailed stock status of all products across the stores. The report can be filtered to display products which are in stock, low on stock, at critical stock level, or zero stock, and in a rare case, negative stock. Products which have a zero stock level are indicated by a red dot. The inventory status report can be generated by store, by product, or by product group, and for a given date range. The report gives a detailed status of every product and displays the total available quantity, reserved quantity for delivery orders, quantity of the product that has been ordered but is yet to be received. The inventory movement report is essentially the product ledger. The report can be filtered based on store, a particular product, and then by its different movement types. Tender collection report is the detail of how the transactions have been paid for. You have the option of filtering the report by store or by a payment type or for a date range. When viewed on the screen, the report lists the different payment types and the transactions in which this payment type was used. This is an extremely useful report and can be used to reconcile daily cash and more importantly, keep track of the credit card and wallet remittances to your merchant account. Z-tape report is normally the last report that you print on the web register before closing it and is therefore is also called the end of day report. This report can either be printed on the web register when it is closed or alternatively, the report can be printed from the report section. Let us now look at the setup section where you specify the settings that control the behavior of the application. In this section, global setting is the one where you get to specify whether the prices of the products that you sell include the retail tax or not. And this depends on the country where you operate. Detailed tool tips guide you at all stages to better understand the functioning of the fields. Tax setting is by far the most important setting for your business. The application creates the default tax codes based on the country that you selected at the time of creating the account. Edit the most appropriate tax code and mark it as default. This is the tax code that will be applied to all the products that you sell at your stores. The next setting is to define the roles and attach these roles to different users. The application comes with three default roles admin, manager, and cashier. You can obviously create additional roles. Next up in this setup are the stores, point of sale terminals, receipt formats, and the ability to define sales targets. For every store that you create, make sure you attach the most appropriate tax code to the store. A point of sale is attached to a store and the two settings show hospitality products and show retail products determine which type of products would show on this point of sale. You also need to specify the print format of the transaction receipt. And transaction receipt is very intuitive. The different switches control the information that can be printed on the transaction receipt. Plus, the header and footer sections give you the flexibility to further customize the receipt format. To set the sales target, you need to activate the sales target management plugin. The last bit of setup involves setting up the different payment types. Cash and credit card payment types are predefined, whereas others like gift cards, store credit, on account can be created by activating your respective plugins. 
Tagrain comes with comprehensive documentation. Every screen has a context sensitive help that includes screen based guides, how to knowledge articles, and videos. You can also visit help.tagrain.com to access the entire documentation in one place. We are confident that you will find using Tagrain intuitive and easy to use. And help is just a chat away. You can always get in touch with us on chat or drop in an email. We will be more than willing to answer your queries. Thank you for watching and welcome to Tagrain.